Hello, you're watching Got Space Game and it's time for DCS and 3 or less. Today we're in the F-16, showing how to drop the WCMD, or Wickmed. We're dropping the CBU-105 version, which dispenses 10 homing anti-tank submunitions, as opposed to the 103 version, which drops conventional cluster munitions that are effective against light armour. We'll be dropping two pairs of these bombs as there are specific actions to take after dropping the first wick mid to ensure a successful drop with the second. As always, useful control bindings will be on screen at the end of the video. Set air to ground mode and check that the master arm is on. Power on your wick mids. If you have other kinds of air to ground weapons loaded, select the wick mids here first. Configure the MFDs to your liking. I'll be putting the HSD and stores pages on the left, take the stores page out of inventory mode, and then just the TGP on the right screen. The wick mids should already be in pre-planned mode. Select your target waypoint. On the HSD the small cross shows where the TGP is pointed. Back on the SMS page, check that the wick mids are showing ready status. We're releasing the first two bombs as a side-by-side -side pair. We're attacking tanks, so let's go for a nice tight spacing to ensure multiple hits per target. 300 feet should do it. DMS down to soy the TGP. TMS left to select an IR mode. Use the TDC to slow the targeting pod and locate your targets. They should also generate a sensor point of interest. You need to fly towards the bomb fall line to release your weapon. Other HUD symbology shows your speed your range scale and your distance to target. When the release queue comes alive, press and hold the weapon release button. Pickle. When we moved the targeting pod, that created offset data that we now need to delete. Press TMS down twice in order to do this. Now you can select the next target steer point. The submunitions can detect tanks as they descend on parachutes and blast right into the weaker armor on the top. We'll drop the other two bombs in a slightly different configuration. Set the two triangles as point to tail. This will line the bombs up along the row of scud launchers in front of us. 800 feet of separation will avoid overlap and maximise coverage. Let's also increase the burst altitude. Control page and set the altitude 2000 feet. Press enter and back out of the control page. Coming in range, press and hold weapons release. Pickle. Note the master caution as we no longer have heavy armaments, so let's set the stores config back to cat 1. We can watch the bombs impact using the TGP, and it's quite the firework show. Anything softer than light armour really doesn't stand a chance. That being said, the CBU-103 might give you better results against light targets. I've been Dan, you've been watching DCS and 3 or less from Got Space Game. Massive thanks to all my Kofi supporters. If you found this video useful, please share it and subscribe to the channel for more 3-minute DCS tutorials covering all of your favourite modules.